we just had a fox come through. I was inside, right inside the door, looking for deer, because I knew there were deer lurking earlier. And I look out, and there's a fox just hanging out here, like he had just gotten here, and he was like looking around, like, you know, what can I get? Thankfully, everybody went to a hide, because they all know exactly what they're doing. Got up a tree, got in a hide, whatever they did, there was not a squirrel. God, I just chased that guy. He doesn't know, he's, you should have seen the look on his face. He kept looking around, looking at me like, is this far enough? It's like, no, I chased him so far, just screaming at him and clapping to let every squirrel know everywhere, get up a tree. You know, I was let, telling everyone, get up a tree, get up a tree. I just saw Rover gather these two nuts. I just saw Rover run from the front yard with two big black walnuts in her mouth, which are green. And this is one of them. And she just set the other one into the woods. So this must be her morning routine is go to the front yard, gather some black walnuts, bring them over here and eat them right here on this hide that I made a perch slash hide. So if anything breaks out like the fox that I just had to chase out of here, she can duck under there for safety until the danger passes. And meanwhile, she's got nuts. You've got nuts. With everyone else gone, you get all your all the food you want, don't you? Yeah, there's plenty of nuts around here, plenty of food. And the amount of squirrels that left is just unbelievable. So she is feasting <laughs> constantly and saving. I'm always seeing her run around with these big black walnuts in her mouth. I think she's just storing them up like crazy with everyone else gone. And the trees are pretty much all hers. There's a few others, but they don't work as industriously as she does. She just works all day long. I'd be remiss if I did not add, she gets that from her mother. Hansi was such a hard worker. Hansi and Tupac are the two hardest working squirrels. Um, Hansi, I don't know if Hansi more than Tupac. For sure those two, I'll, I'm not gonna bother ranking the two of them very hard workers and Rover learned from her mom just she's just such a hard worker she has kids and she works all day long she works hard for the nuts hard for the nuts so hard for the nuts hard for the nuts she works hard for the nuts and she always gets it right all right <laughs> there is 0.0065% chance I will put that on the internet. What do you think, Rover? She's like, oh God, no. Oh God, no, don't put that on the internet. See, that's the second one she grabbed. So, you know how she always wants two nuts from me and I always say, well, when's she ever gonna get two nuts in nature? She does. When she goes out collecting nuts, she grabs two at a time. I was walking by and there was a squirrel at the front door and I couldn't believe it. It was Jesse James looking in. I've not seen Jesse in days. I know, and I was starting to worry. So in a world with no squirrels, which we have like, we have, yeah, I gave him a kitty treat, which is a squirrel treat. But in a world with like no squirrels, Jesse James just showed up. It's just unbelievable. There's nobody out here and Jesse showed up at the front door. I shouldn't say we've never been close because I guess we're closer than I thought. There was one time where I thought I might have saved his life. He was across, there was a gray squirrel across the street and a hawk. And I went over there and I saved whatever squirrel. And I always had a feeling it was him, but I was never sure. And maybe it was because he's very close to me, especially now. I mean, when everyone's gone, Jesse's showing up at the front door. It's just wild. I am doing a video today on whatever squirrels I see. This is Mocha Latte. I've seen Jesse James and Mocha Latte. This is Mocha Latte. I don't remember when I last seen her days. And Jesse James, I think it had been a week. So I'm seeing, I've seen two squirrels today. The birds are doing their thing. There was some black squirrel on the deck that I know but doesn't have a name. Very nice one climbs my leg and that's it I think I'll try to keep a chronicle it probably won't be long okay here's someone we know this is RJ she was just doing her little thing with her back feet this is Rover Jr. hey Rover Jr. you gonna do your tap dance you gonna do your tap dance come here there she goes 
There you go. You shake it for us. You gonna shake it? Back to our chronicle for the day. So this is Pippi and she does make a point of coming to see me every day. I don't know where she's living, but she makes a voyage and she came and she, I gave her a nut cause that's all I had on me were hazelnuts. She just sniffed it on the ground and looked at me like, come on, you know what I want. So I waved my arm and said, come on, let's go in the house. So she followed me to the door. But by the time I grabbed, I had the seeds right by the door, so I just came out and reading them out here. Her eye looks a little funny, and at first I was worried, but it's fine. It's just reflection, and she's doing just fine, and she just loves these pumpkin seeds. She's got babies, I'm sure. Let's see if we can take a look. Pippi, we're going to check out your private parts here. She's like, no, you're not. No, you're not. Yeah, I am. No, you're not. Hello, I see your private parts. I see you. She's like, do you see my claws? Do you see what I could do to you right now? You leave my private parts out of this. Okay, Pippi, you're the boss. Okay, so we're just gonna have to know from the fact that she's devouring these pumpkin seeds that she has babies to feed. Yeah, she has no interest in hazelnuts from me right now, but every interest in the pumpkin seeds. She comes to see me every day, keeping the relationship happy. I had a dream about Condo Girl last night, and it was kind of sad, and I hope Condo Girl's okay. But in the dream, Condo Girl, she let me know we're all just in a big city, and we can't always find each other in the big city. And since obviously this is not a big city here, I think it was an allegory for the universe and that, you know, we don't always align. Like we're not in the same place at the same time. We're maybe not in the same lifetime at the same time. Those birds, that is most likely a hawk that they're alerting on. But Pippi and I, we gonna run inside Pippi? Cause we could just head right inside if you want. Let's do that. After you're done with these seeds, let's go inside and eat more seeds. Okay. Do you want to go inside? I'm going to start shining my flashlight and see if I can't help this along. So she's eating seeds. And I'm shining a light. I'm shining my little light here. Should we go inside? That's water from the watering can. I would just like to say that wasn't like an accident that I had over the hawk showing up. I should be more concerned because there's other squirrels, but like nobody's even out. Hey, Pips, let's go inside. Pippi, let's go inside. Pippi. You want to come in here? You want to go in the house, Pips? We can go inside. You want to do that? I'd feel better if we were inside. Let's do that. You want to go in? I have the door open, but she's apparently fine with sticking around out here. Or not. You just run inside if you need to. I never did finish up. So in there, it's a hide within a hide. I mean, one fern, one cinnamon fern for frog, for a toad, um, two junipers from two different places. It's a little different, but they're both sea green. We have a hide. And the way this one works, so somebody's on the peanut mound, danger comes. Boom. They run under any of these things here, run between the junipers, run into the hide, and they can go either way. And then there's a place to peek out if they want to see how things are going. And they're safe to do so because they're covered by a net that a hawk can't get down through. Here's my workstation over here. And here's Rover. I said I'd keep a chronicle of who showed up. All right, Rover, I'm trying to get a close up so they believe me it's you. There it is. It's hard to see her in this light. She'd rather go outside, she says. We got the, and I got a little Punky too. Punky's like, what about me? What about me? 
Aren't you gonna come up and get one? Really bucks. Got Rover over here. Funky over here. I could just tell by the look on Rover's face it was time for pumpkin seeds. This is kind of funny. Plunky just came up and went near Rover and stole a nut. I think she knows there's more to be had. And she's trying to figure out how to get to him. They're under Rover's tail. You gonna go get him? You gonna go get him from Roby? I wouldn't mess with Rover. She smells him. <laughs> Yeah, you earned them. You earned them. All right, I said I would chronicle who I saw today. I saw S curve earlier, very briefly. I think it was one nut. This is two pack. You can tell by the ears. Her original name was Funny Ears. Before I knew that she could eat two nuts, pack two nuts in her mouth at once, I used to call her Funny Ears. I didn't know those ears aren't so funny when you find out it's because they're getting ripped up in mating chases. But I didn't know. I was new. Long time ago. And um, let's see who else did we see today. I saw, I think I saw Shy Gray Bent Tail for one nut. Threw her a nut. Pretty sure I did. One nut. And I think she's moved to the backyard, which is big. She's always lived in the front side yard. So I don't know. After that horrible mating chase. I think that's when she moved because then I didn't see Shy Gray Bent Tail for like a week or whatever and I thought she was dead. She moved. And now she's only coming out for like one or two nuts at a time and not even every day. So I don't know what's going on with her. Probably the baby thing. Or maybe just doesn't want anyone to know where she is. I don't know. Very incognito. But this is Tupac. Beautiful tail in the sun here. It's her dinner time. Of everyone, I think I see Tupac and Rover the most. It's kind of like, okay, you can give me seeds if you want to. She would never beg. Rover, Rover today was just with her tongue hanging on the deck, practically asking for seeds. We have a little whippersnapper here. I'm not sure who it is, but it's not somebody I haven't seen yet. It's just somebody without a name who lives out here. Here's another squirrely. Are they shaping up or what? Landscape rocks go a long way for making things look better. But you gotta do push-ups to carry the rocks and arrange them. Hot French Sunday is learning how to take advantage of the amenities around here. There she is. There she is. Get it? kind of hard to find it and all that, isn't it? There you go. This is why I walk Hot Fudge Sunday home. She just got chased by Rover. So now I'm helping her home and she get, encounters a deer on a normal path, a fawn, but still. And then, so she had to change her path. She's going to eventually be crossing the street. Here she comes. Hey, Hot Fudge Sunday, I'm here for you. This is a long ways. She comes a long ways for some hazelnuts and then Rover chased her out. She did get a couple hazelnuts and I think she had some peanuts before she found me for the hazelnuts, so that's good at least. 